might just be rocks, grass, and dirt. But there is something about this spot. Some magic. Well, now, you can make yourself presentable when you have a mind to. Ha <laughs> ha Ah, how nice to be understood again. I have spent the past months bickering with builders and bankers, all to restore the city exactly as it was. Same. Twisting alleys for purse pickers. Same wooden buildings ready to get burnt by next year's dragon. Same cisterns overflowing. Huh. Baldorian simply get on with it. <laughs> Stubbornness. Civic spirit, plain stupidity. Perhaps all three, but nothing I will sniff at any longer. Harpers have come from half the world over to lend aid. Farmers, masons, healers. My own son, Jord, has been wooed to their ranks. Already he plans crop cycles in Worms Crossing. Not so for my daughter. Ryan's rejoined the Flaming Fist. Temporarily, you understand, to organize the craftsmen. Though she spends more time locking up comrades for pocketing eight vans. They might learn a thing or two if they don't expel her again. Ah, there is still much to do. People to house. A Harper network to rebuild. I may have little love for this city, but so long as my family chooses to serve it, I can do no less. For all your travels, I hope you have arrived where you want to be. Home. Whatever that means to you. Garlak is lucky to have you. And know that you are not forgotten. If your friends don't drag you from the hells, it will only be because you freed yourself first. But there will be more to discuss on that matter. First, I must inspect the refreshments. You'll never know. Some ne'er-do-well might have tampered with the wine. You would think someone of my vintage would be inured to the passage of time. Yet these past six months have seemed endless without your company. But now our paths cross once more. We have all pined for each other's company, I sense. I cannot imagine otherwise after what we shared. That bond was forged in a crucible that can never be stoked again, Oak Father willing. It is a bond that can weather any distance, any passage of time. I know it can, for I feel the longing for old friends in my heart each day. I always do. Should I ever decline, assume a doppelganger has taken my place. Hmm. That was more than worth the wait. That was more than worth the wait? 
Oh, I suppose you didn't mean that literally. Now, we have much to catch up on. Do not allow me to ramble on. I am eager to hear all you've been doing. In that case, very well. Our community grows rapidly. In six months, we have turned what was once a shadowy wasteland into a true home for all. In another six months, I would wager the scars of the past will be entirely invisible, even to those who remember them. The old masonry of Moonrise Towers and Rythwin have been repurposed into new homes, and the land is rich with harvests and bountiful trees. Nature and civilization are in harmony. Stronger together. It is, truly. Though a more complex, evolving beast than I could ever have anticipated. I spoke often of balance before. Only now do I realize the balance is no simple, fixed thing. We welcome folk from all walks of life. Anyone who wishes for a new start. Naturally, it can be chaotic at times, but it is a thrilling sort of chaos. It thrives in ways I could never have dreamed of. As am I. I may age more slowly than most, but I do believe I've gained some new laughter lines of late. Now, please, tell me all, and spare no details. I shall not lie. I have an ulterior motive in wishing to hear all. It is the children, you see. My charges. Their appetite for bedtime tales is greater than I could ever have anticipated. Another story, Daddy Halsin. Another is the chorus that greets me each nightfall. They have all but exhausted my repertoire in but a few short months. No mean feat to give them the lifetime I have lived. I desperately need new material, please. My reputation is at stake. I am all ears. Though, I never cared for that phrase. A rather... unsettling image. I am glad you and Karlak have an enduring friendship. It shall serve as a strong lesson for the children, as well as a stirring tale. Now, it would be cruel of me to hoard you all to myself for the evening, as much as I would like to. I shall leave you to the others for now, unless there was anything else. Quite often, they come and go as they please, but with so many playmates to avail of, <laughs> they are far from strangers. They ask after you often. What you did for them will never be forgotten. I can see it in the land all around me, but more importantly, I see it in their faces whenever they visit. To make a child smile is to dabble with the power of gods, as far as I'm concerned. I spend half my days in ursine form. The children demand it. I had a score of them taking turns riding upon my back just days ago. <sighs> I'm glad they are so comfortable with the Oak Father's creations. But they must learn that not all are as amiable as I am. A lesson for another time, though. They deserve some joy. As for roaming, that impulse has dwindled, I must admit. Perhaps because I have found where I am meant to be.
As did I, but somehow I feel like I no longer need to roam. That I have found something worthy laying roots for. Amazing what can be discovered about oneself, even at a ripe old age. On occasion, but I prefer not to interfere. Francesca of the High Forest is Archdruid now, and by all accounts, she has proven to be a steady and wise influence. Even Korga may yet find true balance, thanks to her influence. Nor would I. Intoxicating than any fare this gathering has to offer. Uh, before you go, I have something for you. Just a little keepsake, really. Do you remember how I told you I like to whittle? I made this. <laughs> Ducks are my favorite, but I thought they were particularly fitting in this case. They are migratory birds, of course, traveling far and wide with the turn of the seasons. Yet, they always find their way back to where they belong. <laughs> Just like old friends find themselves back in each other's company. Just a token to remember me by. Now, I've taken up enough of your time. Go on. Enjoy the festivities. We can speak again later. There you are. I was hoping you'd make your way over. God, I smell like a 70-year-old cinder. Withers yanked me from Avernus with my blade halfway through a Cambion's belly without so much as a chance at washing up. I'll forget all that. By the star's light and the moon's glow, it's so good to see you. And I've got so much to tell you. The Hell Hunt's no mere duty. It's a thrill. The demons I've disintegrated. The devilkin I've bled. The stories I could share. Uh, I don't suppose you'd indulge me. Yes, but just the one, or I'll be yammering all night. You want to hear about the Amnitsu at the Sticks? The Three Tusk Orthon, or the Invading Gorestroy? Word travels fast when a devil crosses the Delambir Vale near Daggerford. It had traveled a Hellrift to a long forsaken shrine. Luckily, the trail it scorched into the frontiers was hard to miss. It led to an isle of cracked rock in Avernus, floating amid a molten sea. The Orthon stood heaving, breath like brimstone and ash. And then it charged, splitting the ground with every thud so fast it left a trail of smoke. I could barely nick it, not with a blade, not with an eldritch blast. It was the War Devil's weight that proved its own undoing. The third charge it made, I struck the rock with Scorching Ray. The ground split apart the moment the beast stomped onto it. The Orthon slowly sunk, howling into the magma beneath. I let two of its tusks sink with it. The third I sliced free and presented to the first Duke of Daggerford, a rare trophy to grace his walls. She's kept me on a long leash, if you can believe it. Every target she's set me on's been a demonic intruder. Tanari assassins who slip into Avernus. Armonites that amass near the sticks. My next mark's the most challenging yet. 
Or so she says. So I don't know much more. Only that it's no demon, but a devil. She's playing a game. I don't know what it is or how she plans to win, but I can tell you this much. I'd fall on my own blade and join the blood war in an instant should Zariel's hell-touched fingers stretch towards the coast. And as long as I'm more useful as a warlock, that's not a risk Mazora would take. I've seen him more than a few times, and he's as proud of me as I am of him. He's leading the city's renewal, opened the gates to all newcomers, rebuilt the council from scratch. And he's back in his element, commanding the flaming fist with brave heart and no shortage of empathy. The likes of Gortash can bend people's minds with a few chosen words. No tadpole needed. Bane's chosen primed the fist for a war they weren't meant to win. He convinced them there was an assassin hiding in every shadow that cruelty was the correct answer to crisis. With a few exceptions, fathers pardoned every last fist. If my forgiveness not be tears will, so be it. I shall forgive them all the same. His words, not mine. He still believes in the bow and the blade, but with Floric's help, he's teaching the fist a new lesson. Valor is found not in the wounds you inflict, but in the lives that you have bettered. May they all take it to heart. I wish you'd been there to join in. Oh, to battle together, just like the old days. I suppose that's my way of saying I miss you. Tonight, I toast not just the people we've become, but the people we were. Warriors, winners, saviors. Go on, the night's young. You shouldn't waste a moment of it. Or waste a single drop of wine, for that matter. I plan on downing half a bottle myself. Oops, did I say half a bottle? I meant half a dozen. <laughs> My friend, the Hellswalker. For two months I trained the Knights of the Comet. For two more I skewered Kithraki bellies. And for two more yet, I traveled through Limbo. But to see your face, it brings me even more pleasure than taking a Royal Inquisitor's head. Limbo, she'd said. A plane of chaos where you might drink fire like water where you might breathe ice instead of air, and the home of the mystical Githserai. Once the Githserai were one of the Githyanki, until bloody civil war severed them. It's nice to hear it. It's taken a dozen Gish's talents, a few stolen psi crystals, and two ten days of effort to conjure my projection. Worth it, I'd say. I miss this place. This... Uh, Fey run. Shraktalor. Shraktalor? You recall the name. The capital city of the Githzerai, and the home of their immortal god-king, Zareth Menya Agith. Our Gish sent word of the rebellion to Menyara Gith through the cosmos. He's agreed to parley. It's fallen to me to secure an alliance. Exactly the reaction I expected. My blade is keen as ever. But it was you who showed me that a proper victory doesn't always require a razor-sharp edge. Sometimes, a sincere plea is more persuasive than a dagger against the neck. Minyara Gith is an ascetic. 
He reached out in good faith. This is his way. It is in this spirit that I must meet him. And if he refuses, I carry on. Gravity pulls me in but one direction. I am a warrior of the Comet. I will not rest until I burn Vlacket's bones to ash and smash her phylactery to pieces. My people will be free. Chuck. But you've heard that refrain before. Zealous, bossy, insistent. All part and parcel of my undeniable charm. Soon, when the comet has risen, when the Lich Queen has crumbled to dust. I miss this place. More to the point, I missed you. I'll be back one day. The Overgod himself couldn't keep me away. Well, well. Look what the Tressim dragged in. Professor Gail Decarius of Blackstaff Academy. Educator of the esteemed School of Illusion. A pleasure to remake your acquaintance. Well, that was quite lovely. I'm glad you're as pleased to see me as I am you. I have to say, I'm quite grateful to just be Gale for the evening. I fear my students find me somewhat intimidating due to my uh, explosive former reputation. I seem to put the fear of the gods into them. Or the fear of Mistra, to be more specific. I surrendered the crown of Carsus to her, as I told you I would. And in return, she cured me of the orb at last. Even now, I struggle to put the feelings into words. It was like... exhaling for the first time after holding my breath for so very long. Of course, I haven't clarified with my students that the orb is no longer a threat. The legend of my explosive capabilities is an excellent means of controlling a classroom. Too good, if anything. I spend most of my time trying to convince them how much fun the study of magic can be. But it'd be easier to crack a smile on an intellect devourer than some of my pupils. Ah, so you still remember our little lesson. It was at that moment, the weave connecting us, that I realized how much your friendship had come to mean to me, as it still does. You were, of course, indulging me in submitting to such a lesson. Teaching you was hardly an effort at all. Not like my present cohort of apprentices. Oh, they try their best, of course when they can manage to stay awake. The cheek of them! Nothing a well-placed swipe from Tara can't fix, though. And what of you? What are you making of this newfound lease of life we earned? And I couldn't be happier for you. A fitting reward for the sacrifices you made in getting here. I've told my students plenty of tales about our escapades. You're something of a hero to them, you know? I'd be delighted to introduce you to my current cohort as a guest lecturer, perhaps. I'm sure they'd have plenty of questions for you. Well, I, for one, can't wait. And I say with some confidence, neither can they. Of course, you'll be most welcome to stay with me in my tower. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. uh, 
My apologies, Tara. That would be our tower. It will give us plenty of time to catch up on your adventures. I'm very curious to know what you've been up to these past months. But I suspect the telling of that tale would keep you tied to me all evening. So, in the spirit of selflessness, I encourage you to mix and mingle for now. With time enough to come. Pleasure to see them once more. Oh, right. You. Hello. Yes, I'm certain it is. As for you, well, I've heard congratulations are in order. You helped Mr. Dakario save Baldur's Gate from the Absolute, isn't that right? Well done. Despite my old friend's genius, He'd have blown himself up long ago if not for the help of friends like you and I. You ought to come visit myself and Gail when you're able, if you can extract yourself from what I'm sure are very important responsibilities. We'll send word by pigeon when we've need of you. I used to have a taste for them, but a great many things have changed in recent months. Ta-ta, darling. You are starting to wonder if you'd show up. He's quite powerful for a fellow content to loiter in our camp the whole time, isn't he? I wonder if he'll ever reveal what he's been up to exactly. But no matter. If Wither's wily ways are what it takes to have you here with us, then I'm all for it. Well, come here, will you? It's been forever. feel a little more substantial than before. Less camping and scrounging off the land, I take it. Filled out and healthy is what I was going for. Don't tell me you miss living off whatever scraps we found in crates and barrels. I'm glad you seem well. Trudy. I had no doubt, but I'm glad to hear you say it all the same. Wandering, mostly. The adventuring life is almost a tonic when you're not constantly threatened by brain monsters and cultists. I can finally see the world beyond the cloister. One of my first stops was the House of the Moon in Waterdeep. It's the largest temple of Saluna in existence. It seemed like the perfect spot to reflect on my parents, on where they came from. And where I came from too, I suppose. Hard to imagine, isn't it? 
Me, of all people, in the lair of the Moon Witch herself. Gods, your truest act of heroism was putting up with all that char and drivel I was spouting for so long. Oh, I know they are. I can still sense them, I think. And one day we'll be reunited. Well, I've had run-ins with my former fellow Sharons on a couple of occasions. Word seems to have spread of what happened at the Cloister. Now other chapters of Shah worshippers see me as a prime target to offer up to their lady as a sacrifice. Don't worry. I know their tired old tricks better than anyone. They'll need more than a hooded cloak and poison blade to best me. Especially when I have a friend on the inside keeping me abreast of their predictable little plans. None other. The matter of her faith and allegiances remains... complicated, let's say. But she is still my oldest friend. I have hopes that perhaps she might turn from Shah entirely, given time. But that's a decision she will have to make for herself. If that day comes, I'll be ready. Must I? You presume a great deal. I'm joking. Of course I want to know. Tell me all. I'm glad you two have each other. Hells, I'd be almost tempted to come along if you'd have me. Perhaps if your adventures ever lead you out of Avernus permanently. Hopefully these meetups will become a regular occurrence. It's not that I miss the tadpoles, but at least it brought us together. Now we've got to make the extra effort ourselves. I'm sure we will, but let's be proactive about it all the same. We're more than capable. After all, we've faced down bigger threats than wrangling together a few social calendars. Don't be a stranger. Ah, breathe deep, Poo. The smell of heroes sings from every stone in this place. Ah, to meet again where your journey began, my friend. An honor. For Minsk and his hamster both. Oh, and for Happy also. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, honored, of course. See how your very presence snatches the breath from his chest? And it is no wonder. It is just this day that Happy learned of your legend, while we gazed down upon the very city you saved. He dangled me from the high hall, upside down, for two hours. Eh, the guild should not go creeping in high places if they do not have the stomach for them, hmm? It is well for Happy the strange portal appeared when it did. Minsk's arm was growing exome. So I have. Though it is a piece made more from blade and boot than it is any sense of brotherhood. Nine fingers forbade any looting of the Illithid's fleshy vessels. And so Minsk guards what remains of the battle site. 
Even from her. But where Minsk might once have thrown any sneaking scoundrels from the tower top, now I tell them of you. How you ruled the wickedness within. How they might do the same. Yes, yes, I'll rule it. I'll be better. Oh, of course. It is still for Boo to decide if they live or die. Oh. Oh, God. But enough, my friend. I cannot tell your tale if I do not know the whole of it. Minsk and Boo would know where you have been. What you have done. Oh, Boo. Do you know what it would mean? To find a cure for Karlak's heart? Exactly! Her heart would be cured! Oh, when this day comes, you must come and bunk with Minsk and Boo. Fear not. We sleep in that sewer no longer. It is a different sewer, much less damp beneath the bedroll. Now, halfling, Boo will not have you embarrassing him in front of his friends. So you are to know the rest of the company you keep. Will Ravenguard, the Blade of Frontiers, Devil Horned and Angel Hearted. Lazel of Crash Killer, true child of Gith, and true friend to Boo. Though she will and say it is not so. Astarian, who is banished by the sun itself for fear his spawnish soul might outshine it. We visit him much down in the dark places, though he often moves his lair without remembering to tell Min Square. Gale, the man who would be a god, but then thought better of it. Boo thinks better of him for it, too. Shadowheart, two gods tugged at her soul, but she managed to keep it all for herself in the end. Wait, Boo, did, did she do something with her hair? Halsin, archdruid of archers somewhere. He is a much better man than he smells. And there, the champion of the hells herself. Karlak Demon's Bane, Devil's Bane, Merkel Ball and Bane Bane. Once the guild is made of good names once more, Bull shall scratch the hells wide open and find a way to bring her back. And finally, Jahira. If this is a name you do not already know, then not even Boo can save you. Study them well, sneak thief. For the best among them will be a guide for your guild. Heroes who put the city before themselves. Who never falter in their duty. And more than this, who never arrive to a party without even a gift for the host. But wait! Go, my friend. Be among our friends. There is much work yet to be done before this one is fit to join them. I wish it could last forever. <clears throat> oh, hello. Let me guess, you've got some suggestions about the music choice. <laughs> I find it hard to summon up the trademark pep these days. You have no idea who I am, do you? I thought Withers might have set the stage a little. I owe him a favor, one he is eternally invoking. I thought honoring the worthy was a fair price to pay for Withers to pull me out of the fugue plane. <sighs> Alas, one purgatory to another. Languishing in obscurity. 
Cyric knew what he was doing when he punished me for that song, the prick. Before I was banished to the fugue plane, I had song prayers coming out the proverbial ears. Guess how many I get now? None. I'm washed up, I'm afraid. Go on then. What should I play? Fine. It's your party after all. The whole gang is here. Wish I'd had time to polish up the horns. He's going to kill me, isn't he? Not the big mad bastard. The hamster. Amidst nature. <laughs> Mother Gill, the psionic projection is holding. 